Hello, YouTuber. So it's Monday, August 5th, and it has not even been two weeks since I started this new YouTube thing, slowly building up. Um, so I'm really enjoying this. And, I, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to find my way here. I'm not sure what I really want to do. Uh, I certainly want to extend this out. I've been posting five-minute videos, maybe a little longer, seven, eight, some even shorter. Uh, eventually, I know I want to do movie reviews, um, book reviews, articles, current events, all that stuff. And then guitar. I play guitar. I'll be playing songs and perhaps giving lessons and all that. Um, so when you speak of book reviews, I got to tell you, a podcast that I listen to regularly. I've listened to every one of their podcasts. They've been around since 2014. No, they just said 2012. They've, they've been around for 12 years. The Very Bad Wizards with Tamler Summers, who teaches philosophy at the University of um, uh, University of Houston, and David Pizarro. Um, he's a professor, teaches psychology at um, Cornell here, not too far from here. Um, and they Skype, and they're amazing. I think they've done about 160 podcasts. But I love when they do books, classic books. Their last podcast, God damn, you have to listen to this. They do Franz Kafka's Metamorphosis. It's called A Bug's Life. Ah, oh, it's so good. Um, it's about an hour and a half, and they break it down. They go through the whole story. And they get they really get into it the um, how to read the book their thoughts and they're so fun you know it's not dry at all they're really entertaining they're real interesting guys fun and I, I'd love to do something like that but obviously I can't do it on a five minute clip um, so if you haven't seen that uh, the very very bad wizards with uh, Tamler Summers and. David Pizarro, check it out, especially their last one. You got to hear when they do uh, George Borges. Is that how you pronounce his name? Jorge Louis Borges' books. That's good. And one of the, the books about the Infinite Library is very timely for today. They do that book as well. So let me do my little sort of review. It's not really a view. I'm just going to talk about it for two minutes. But I saw a documentary last night. Wow. Um, I actually ordered it from Netflix. You couldn't stream it yet. I had to get the disc. I have a Blu-ray. So, My Best Fiend. Let me say that again. My Best Fiend. Werner Herzog's documentary on Crazy Klaus. How do you pronounce it? Klaus Kinski. How do you pronounce his name? Hold on. Let me go on here. I had him on my, uh, my phone here. Uh, here we are. It's, uh, yeah, Klaus Kinski. I think Natasha Kinski was his daughter, is that right? Um, yeah, Natasha Kinski. But anyway, Klaus Kinski, famous Austrian-German uh, actor. I think he was in like 160 films. He was probably the best actor like ever. <laughs> I mean, that's a crazy thing to say, who's the best actor. But he just totally intense and crazy. Totally, totally insane. So when you last night, the documentary starts out and you see Klaus Kinski on a stage and he's kind of ranting and raving and he's talking like Jesus, like saying these things. And it was called the Jesus Tour. Klaus Kinski in his mind was so crazed and egomaniacal. He thought he was Jesus, the second coming of Jesus. And then some, there's a heckler. I'm not sure if it was Werner Herzog. It looked like Werner Herzog. And he's like, fuck you. Uh, and, he, and then and then Klaus Kinski goes, who are you saying? You're saying it to Jesus. And he's yelling. He goes, Jesus would be more tolerant. You're not tolerant at all. He goes, you yell at people. And Klaus Kinski goes, fuck you. And he goes, Jesus would not say this. It's just crazy shit. But anyway, um, Werner Herzog. Werner Herzog's nuts, too. <laughs> That's why they work so well together. Two fucking crazed people. But um, you see on the movie, if you've not seen uh, The Wrath of God or Aguirre, the Wrath of, Gua the Wrath of God Aguirre with Klaus Kinski, Werner Herzog's documentary, I think it was 1972. Um, 
it was a 15th century Spain, and, and you got to see this. I think it was it was filmed in Peru. I'll say no more. See that movie. Wow. Um, but you see offset the temper tantrums Klaus Skinsky was having. I'll give you an example of this. So uh, down in South America and Peru, they're in the jungle. Werner Herzog always on location. Werner Herzog. Both, no CGI for Werner, even today. Werner Herzog, that's fucking bullshit. Always on location. So... Um, they're in the jungles of Peru and they had to clear away for this one particular scene and they're cutting down trees in the jungle. Anyway, one of the lumberjacks, um, uh, the, one of the lumberjacks gets bit by a, a snake, right? And uh, poisonous snake, one of, the, one of those green things, the most poisonous snake in the world, gets bit in the foot. He's barefooted too, so he gets bit in the foot. And he's like, oh, no. And he knows that within five minutes, he's going to die. Cardiac arrest. They know about this, these snakes. Usually, in the past, the snakes wouldn't bother him because the smell of gasoline and noise and all that. But anyway, here's this lumberjack. And he's like, whoa. And then what he finally makes the decision, because there's nobody around. Medic, it's weird that Medic was not on set. No hell for 20 miles, like the serum, the uh, poison, the serum and all that, the antidote for these snake bites, just for whatever reason, wasn't available. So there he is. He's going to die in five minutes. What does he do? He has the presence of mind, takes his chainsaw, <sighs> cuts his ankle off. Now, he could have bled to death, but they somehow, he, for certain, you had to make that decision. For certain, you're going to die if you don't do, if you do nothing. He cuts off his... Uh, foot and then they put a tourniquet and he and he, and he survived he's alive uh, i believe to this day incredible um so uh anyway so here is klaus kinski and you see him having tantrums like if his coffee's not uh hot enough he's like Fuh! screaming you know just crazy he had to always be the center of attention so even then this guy and everyone's around this guy tr trying to help him out. Here's a guy who almost died, and Klaus Kinski's pissed off. It's like, why aren't you paying attention to me? You see what I mean? This type of guy. There's so much more. Go see, rent it. God damn it, My Best, My Best Fiend by Werner Herzog. Their relationship is incredible. And then, by the way, here's another little side note. You know, uh, Klaus Kinski always threatened to quit and walk off the set and like that's it like that's that's Werner Herzog's lead man you can't just walk out you're under contract you can't leave but they're always fighting and I'm the so Klaus Kinski or Werner Herzog says we're in the middle of the jungle he goes you're not fucking going anywhere you're not going anywhere Kinski and they started fighting and he literally tried to it got so bad he said he had he took a gun and Werner Herzog and he said this is loaded. He goes, this is for you. You're not fucking going anywhere. He goes, after I kill you, I'm gonna, I'll take a shot myself. But you're not going anywhere. This is how crazy these men are. Werner Herzog. Whew. Okay, I'm, I'm almost nine minutes. So check it out. Have a great day, everyone.